Hi Bagaholics! I'm Anastasia, I'm a luxury bag lover, collector and authenticator. If you're interested in any of that, you can check out the link below. A lot of people ask for a video of a medium-sized Damier Eben handbags, so here it is. Here's my top 6 Damier Eben handbags that you can take anywhere. As much as I'd love to start with a Neverfull, I don't have a Neverfull Damier Eben in stock, so we are starting from Iena. Uh, that's a great medium-sized bag, especially if you need a zipper here. Uh, so it actually combines all the good things in one bag. Um, there's no Vachetta, uh, well, we are speaking of Damier Eben, so of course. Um, but there's also a zipper, uh, it's quite spacious, it has space for everything you need and uh, it has an outside pocket and I do love that because I don't love to uh, open the bag every time I need a phone or uh, every time I, I need a mirror to check my appearance. Um, so I do prefer bags with, a, with an outside pocket where you can put a phone easily and just use it without opening the bag. There is only one disadvantage about this bag and I've already mentioned it in one of the previous reviews. So the canvas is not thick, it's a newer type of the canvas. So um, there might be some wear on corners and the canvas might be chipped off in this part. Other than that, that's a great bag. But in case you have choice uh, between an Iena, that's an MM by the way, uh, in case you have choice between a Iena and a Totally was also released in Damier Eben, I'd go for Totally. However, Iena is a great bag, it's available in stores and uh, it doesn't cost a lot. Well, it's one of the affordable, let's say, bags from Louis Vuitton. Uh, so you can uh, actually purchase it. Um, I don't think there is a waiting list and you'll enjoy it a lot. By the way, it has space for papers. Next one on the list is a Berkeley. And don't ask me why, but I love Berkeley much more than I love a Speedy. And it's probably due to its structured shape and design. And I love the way the zipper is designed because with the Speedy, well, uh, the, the opening of the bag is limited because the zipper ends uh, here. And with the Berkeley, the opening is quite nice. Plus, it ensures that um, these parts don't get cracked. And actually, well, they can't get cracks because of uh, the leather piece uh, just right here. And the opening is very comfortable, much more comfortable than uh, with the Speedy, again. This bag is already discontinued, so you can't find it in stores. You can only buy it pre-loved, but the price, I guess it's very, very reasonable. It's about from 600 to, I guess, so 700, 800 if it's in great condition. And uh, here's another thing I love about Berkeley and about um, old style Damier Eben bags. That's a combination of uh, brown canvas and brown leather and red interior. It's beautiful. You can wear Berkeley as a handbag or as a shoulder bag if you're a petite like I am. There are so many good things about this bag so I could go on and on but let me show you the next one which is a Trevi PM or a Trevi GM. They're both very nice, they are very classy, very structured and I bet that's one of the best Damier Eben handbags ever for, uh, for an office lady. So if you um, belong to a corporate environment, then you probably want to consider um, this Trevi PM. That's a, uh, again, a discontinued bag. So it means we have this beautiful red interior and you can also buy it uh, pre-loved. It's available in our store for around 1,000, a little bit lower. Uh, but it's in great condition and actually, well, this bag looks like new, feels like new, but yes, straight to the point. Uh, that's a nice shoulder bag. You can wear it as a handbag or as a shoulder bag. I love the way the zipper is structured here and uh, the, with the way it's integrated in the whole design. Um, 
Well, I love everything about this bag and there are not that many issues with uh, this one. You may be getting little rubs here and there, but overall the bag will look gorgeous even after you use it for years. And um, that's another advantage of Damier Eben handbag, right? Uh, the wear is not that noticeable as with Vachetta handbags. And here comes Sistina GM, another discontinued item in our list. Um, it's a pretty bag, classic shape, um, red interior, right? And uh, well, what I love about it, I haven't heard about any issues at all with this handbag. It doesn't have rubs, it doesn't have cracks, it doesn't have, well, anything that might be bothering you while using the handbag. I mean, here they're very soft, they're nice to touch, um, and here, well, not that nice, but you're not supposed to wear it like this all the time. On the uh, shoulder, it feels quite nice. I'd say, yeah, it, it's a nice bag. The buckle is a bit heavy, though. Well, if you can fold papers a little, then it does fit them. Although, if these are important documents, I don't think you want to do that. Let's try the middle compartment, probably. Yeah, middle one is good, actually. And they are safe inside. By the way, it has three compartments here. One zipped compartment and two large compartments on the sides. One thing I wish this bag had is an outside pocket because I do use it a lot and the buckle is very heavy. I mean, very heavy. And I don't want to open it every time I need to answer the phone. Moving next, here is a beautiful Bergamo GM. That's the largest size and this bag is discontinued, so you can only find it pre-loved. Um, and that's probably one of my favorite handbags and I know a lot of people are huge fan of this exact handbag because um, classic look, it's structured, it's beautiful, uh, it looks great at the office, it looks great everywhere but the office and uh, I mean it's very stylish so you can use it as a handbag or as a shoulder bag and of course it has space for everything you might imagine and it fits papers too now i have a separate video on bergamo gm wear and tear so check it out if it's, if you're interested in hearing more about potential issues with uh, this exact handbag wonder who's my winner here's an asco and she's beautiful that's my favorite handbag from Louis Vuitton and Damier Eben and one of my favorite Louis Vuitton handbags ever. I think partly it's due to its similarity to a Birkin because it reminds us of a Birkin, right? And the size is exactly the same as uh, Birkin 35. I have a video comparison here, you may check it out. It's even better than a Birkin because as you know, a Birkin has this, this kind of flap here. So this flap would be connected to the back of the bag, right? With ASCO, you don't need to open the flap every time you need to use the bag. You just, you just open it because there are two huge compartments for anything you might need and one zipped compartment for your very precious belongings. Moreover, when it comes to the over, overall structured shape and the looks of the bag, I can't think of a handbag more stylish than an ASCO. Uh, I also love the fact that the handles are not Damier Eben because I, I think it brings a special touch to this bag and uh, it makes it look like Damier Eben but a limited edition of Damier Eben. And as you know, I'm a limited edition girl and I love bags that feel very special. And that one feels very special to me. If you are buying an ASCO and you're wondering um, like what you might be expecting from this bag, what kind of wear and tear, um, then I'll tell you your main concern is keeping the shape of the bag. If the shape of the bag is great, um, you may just expect usual rubs on corners, and some surface scratches on the hardware. The rest of the bag will look gorgeous. One more thing, the handles will darken with time, but you need to use it a lot. I mean, they won't darken within the first year of use, I guess, especially if you care about them, or you may use a 
uh, Twilly actually to cover the handles and to prevent prevent them from darkening. Um, you just you just go like this. Uh, I mean, but eventually they will darken because uh, that's not Damier even um, dark leather. This leather is a little softer and uh, it's a little uh, brighter than Damier even. But still, you may add a pop of color to the bag and use a twilly to cover the handles. Now that was it, but I'd love to hear from you. What's your favorite Louis Vuitton Damier Eben handbag? And which of these handbags did you love the most? Thank you for watching. If you loved the video, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and see you next week.